Do you pray too much? That's a question I've been asking myself a lot lately. Hi, I'm Marge steinhag Fenelon, and you are tuning into Simply Holy, the podcast for people who want to live a joyful life in Christ. So let's get back to my original question. Do you pray too much? That's the question I've been asking myself because I do pray a lot. So all in all, it's about two hours, maybe a little more a day. Now, just to clarify, I don't really think there's such a thing as too much prayer in terms of developing a relationship with God. But do you pray too much? Those times of my prayer, I've noticed, are filled with rote prayers. So the Rosary, Chaplet of St. Michael, Divine Mercy Chaplet, there are some other devotions. They're, they're, they're all rote prayers, basically. The prayers that I recite from a book, I do listen to the scriptures every day. See, key is listen. So all of these prayers that I say during my, my prayer times, in the morning, hour and a half, maybe a little more, and then half an hour or so before bed, well, for the most part, they're all these rote prayers And I'm listening to the audio, the audio recording of those prayers, including the scriptures, audio recording of the scriptures. And while I am praying along, I'm not really praying along. You know what I mean? So so it's it becomes so easy when you're listening to a prayer to let yourself be distracted or simply go through a string of prayers, and I'm speaking mostly (laughs) about myself, really, to go through a string of prayers and then think, okay, that's great. I've had a great prayer time. I've spent a lot of time in prayer. But sometimes I notice that I get done with my prayer time, particularly my morning prayers, and, and I realize, wow, you know, I'm all done with those prayers, but during that time, did I really engage with our Lord? Did I engage with our Blessed Mother? Did I feel like I was drawing closer to them? Did I have a conversation with them? And and sadly, too often I have to answer, no. No, I said the prayers. See, that's the key. I said the prayers. But was I really focusing on getting to know our Lord, getting to know our Blessed Mother as I was saying them? You know, do, do you pray too much? So it's not really the time I'm spending that I need to ask myself about, but it's how do I spend that time? Am I saying too many rote prayers? Maybe that's a better way to ask that question. Am I saying too much of this pre-recorded, you know, prayers that I've learned as a, as a child? Is that what I'm doing? Am I just reciting rather than speaking to our Lord, rather than speaking to the Blessed Mother? You know, St. Paul told us to pray without ceasing. And I think about that, and one could could argue, well, he he means we need to be on our, our knees, praying to God all the time for his mercy and our needs and so on. I don't think he meant that. I don't think he meant that at all. What I think St. Paul meant was, that we should make everything we do a prayer. Make it holy. Offer it to God. Ask him to sanctify what we're doing and to consciously do something as if, and he is, as if our Lord Jesus was standing right next to you or the Blessed Mother standing right next to you. And, and work with them, so to speak, as, as you are there engaged in whatever it is you're doing, but engage them in conversation. So my prayer times are fantastic. I love my prayer times. But then I have to ask myself, okay, so but what, did, what did you do during your prayer time? Are you closer to God than you were? when you started. 
Sometimes I am. Sometimes I find those rote prayers very fulfilling, especially when, when I'm facing something difficult or I'm confused about something and I really don't know how to pray. I don't know how to even begin. Well, those kinds of prayers, those devotions, are, are very, very helpful in quieting my heart and then getting me into the, the mindset to really speak with our Lord and, and listen. You see, that's, that's where I'm lacking. Is, and that is, I, I'm lacking because I'm speaking or following along with someone else speaking during my prayer times. But am I really listening? Sometimes, well, a lot of times, I, I get little messages in my heart during the rosary or during one of the chaplets, and it's beautiful. But then when it's over, I don't necessarily retain that message. I don't necessarily act on it. And I'm sad to say that. It's, it's not, I don't, I, I feel very certain that that's not what God wants. He wouldn't send me those messages if there wasn't a reason for me to, to take them in and pause and, and go back to them, return to them these little inspirations, and I, and I know a lot of people who have these, so I know I'm not alone. These, these inspirations during, sometimes for, for folks, it's, it's during Mass or, or definitely during adoration. I hear that a lot from people. But do, do I pray too much? Do I just pray without listening, without exchanging, without emptying my heart to, to God. I think I do. I think in that respect, I do pray too much. And it's one of the things that I want to work on over the, this coming year. You know, I, I've never been big on New Year's resolutions. I've been more on hmm, goal setting or uh, changing a behavior. But I think this time around, I think this, this year, that definitely needs to be a resolution of mine to, to resolve, to, to spend my prayer time not just praying, not just reciting prayers, but actively engaging with Christ, act, actively engaging with the saints, actively engaging with our Blessed Mother, the Triune God, the Holy Spirit, God the Father, on and on, you know, to really engage. What, what does that engagement look like? Well, it might look like saying a prayer, maybe it's the rosary, but then pausing afterwards and searching my heart to see, well, what's there? What's there in my heart? What was going through my head and my heart while I was saying the rosary? And then to express that to the Blessed Mother as if she were, and she is, she's sitting right next to me, right in front of me, and, and talk to her about that. It doesn't have to be long, I mean, I don't have eternity, <laughs> not yet anyway, before I die. I don't have eternity to sit there and, and talk with the Blessed Mother while sitting still. I can talk to her as I go along, like, like St. Paul says, pray without ceasing. But, but to take some time to change that up, that, that block of time I have in the morning, to spend some of it, some of it uh, listening and, and talking, really speaking, from the depths of my heart. And so I have to ask you, do you pray too much? Maybe you do. Maybe it's time for you to assess your prayer time the way I'm assessing mine. Hey, thanks for listening. Please do me a favor. Please go to my website, marchfenelin.com. Check out my books, including my newest book, America's Mary. The Story of Our Lady of Good Help. Got all my other books there. I've got gifts there. I have my blog, my other videos, my podcast, how to book me for a speaking engagement. It's all there. I also encourage you that right now I'm offering a free sample chapter of my new book, America's Mary. You can sign up for a new a free chapter, free sample chapter to get it feel for the book. I, I know you're going to love it. I'm getting great, great reviews from people from all over the place. 
And you can also choose, I and I hope you do, to become a member of MarchFennelin.com. I've got five tiers, five membership tiers, and you can choose the level of involvement that best suits you. But I really would love to have you on board. I, I need you on board. I need your support. I need mostly your prayers. So my friend, please do me a favor. Pray for me and know that I absolutely will be praying for you. And together, let's ask ourselves that question. Do you pray too much? <laughs>